Afternoon, guys. Um, we've got possibly one of the most exciting things happening today. Um, we had a pack of wild dogs located on our concession this morning at about half past eight. And uh, through a huge effort of all the staff involved, we managed to sit with, to sit with them the whole day. Um, it's now just going on half past four. Luckily, the pack didn't move. Um, so they've been lying in the same bush, these thickets here, just uh, behind me. They've been lying in the same bushes the whole day. So the uh, Kruger National Park vets are on the way. They should be here in the next couple of minutes. And we're actually going to be tranquilizing, uh, I think, one or two dogs and attaching radio collars to the dog um, just for research purposes, monitoring their behavior. Um, so really, really, really exciting. It's going to be action-packed next uh, hour or two. So we'll keep you guys updated about what's going, what's uh, going to happen, and yeah. Right, guys. So as you can see, the vets are moving into position now. Um, just trying to get a good identification of the dogs. Um, pick out which dogs are going to be tranquilizing. So we're making our way down to the dog. The dog has been tranquilized. It was a success. The dog is down. The vets are taking the precautions, making sure that the animal is okay first. It's an increasing population, so it's good, but effectively, um, genetically viable population is a thousand individuals. Oh. <coughs> so the South African population is only 600, 650, uh, but also once again, um, an increasing population. So it is increasing. So I'm Grant Beverly from the Endangered Wildlife Trust. And as part of the Greater Kruger Wild Dog Project, we've collared this adult female wild dog today in order to monitor their movements, um, to monitor the risk or the threat that they're facing in the Greater Kruger National Park. And that's namely snaring, disease, and then human wildlife conflict. So wild dogs have an incredibly large range, often moving outside the boundaries of protected areas. So this project is a collaboration between Endangered Wildlife Trust, um, Sand Parks, the State Vets, and funded by the Boucher Legacy Foundation, the Oak Foundation, is an incredibly large collaboration between a number of organizations to ensure the safety and protection of South Africa's most endangered carnival. Right guys, so that was a huge success. What an amazing experience, first of all, to get that close to the dog, um, watch what the guys do, put the collar on, take all the DNA samples that they need. Um, yeah, the dog was given a reversal drug, um, has now run off and joined the rest of the pack. The pack's already killed a, uh, an uh, Impala while that female was down. So overall, the dog responded well to the drug. Um, all samples were taken, collar was put on successfully and the reversal was done. And uh, the dog's already back with the rest of the pack. So awesome, awesome, awesome afternoon. Um, we're now going to try and see if we can top that. Mm -hmm. 